thoughts. Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> yeah. From Halo Infinite. Yeah. Uh, from new Three Four Three. Yeah. Um. So all this time, what's it been? Six or seven months, and we got basically the only thing here that's interesting is two new maps because I see the the fucking last Spartan standing bullshit or whatever, and it's just what is it like a twelve person battle royale. And it's barely a BR because it's a, the only thing BR about it is a circle closing in or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know anything about it, but I do, I just think it's funny. We're just still waiting for <laughs> game types that are Halo, like King <laughs> of the Hill. Like that shouldn't be something that I'm excited for. It should be something I already had. Yeah. Yeah. Where the yeah. fuck's Griff Ball? Actually, is that yeah, in I'm there? Still waiting. We're still the waiting for the fuck is Griff Ball? In infection. We're, we just want to have some fun, and they're not about it. Clearly, <laughs> we're trying to have fun. You gotta help us. <laughs> And then you look at fucking Daniel season three. You see that over there? Fucking uh, Forge know, beta, so beta. Can Wait, hold on, this? hold on. Forge, Forge beta a year later, or like more than a year later. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? You said something funny. You may as well wait for Halo I say, Seven. I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this rate, it's just waiting for another game to come out. I mean, just just not even Halo at this point. Just something else. This is Halo like, Seven. Just they had their for the new installment. And where's the <laughs> is there campaign installments coming up? I mean, I don't care. But oh, oh, thank God, we have more. campaign split screen co op coming up on season three. Wow. Yeah, is that not to be Talk confused? About late. Hold, that's not to be confused with online co-op, right? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but is that just split screen co-op? No, co -op? that's that's just split screen co-op campaign. <laughs> but and, you can't I mean, even like right now as it sits, you can't even replay campaign missions, right? Like I don't think you can. That's been a gripe. I can't go back and get all the skulls. Like if you didn't get all the skulls in the first go, you can't get them, right? Yeah, I mean that's also another weird thing about the campaign is, you know, I actually uh, don't have the main game anymore because. Uh, I think I'm out of uh, Game Pass, but there's, and I mean the way the way it worked before was there was like sections of the campaign you could yeah go back and replay, and I don't know I I I don't think it is like that anymore. I don't mm -hmm. honestly I don't even care to look because the campaign was trash. But yeah, should um, we talk about that at all? Or <laughs> Dude, that's a whole can of worms. <laughs> it's it's a lot, and there, and anybody who likes it, I just question your sanity. Um, yeah, yeah, again. <laughs> The, the show's not so bad, bad enough. It's, yeah, they, the campaign was just the uh, the icebreaker there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess should we talk about it? The campaign? I don't know. Yeah, fuck this it. Video? Um, I I hated the fucking the Atriox guy. Not the Atriox. I, I don't like him either. He's the guy that throws fucking Chief off the the ship in the beginning. And then who, who's the who's the bad guy of the campaign? What was his name? Echelon or something. Some stupid name. It, it was that brute. And, all, and, all I know is that he never shut up. Um, yeah, he was, he was talking the entire it, time. It was super cringe. Oh my god, yeah, he's just like always talking to you. Every it's like the game was so repetitive. Blow up a fucking cannon somewhere on the Halo, and then all of a sudden you get this stupid fucking talk with this idiot. This brute. guy, he's this... nonstop talking the whole time. I mean, <laughs> and who's he talking I, I to? He wanted, like, I must have wanted to be Master Chief. Chief, like, Chief never replies. Chief never replies. Who's he talking to? Anybody that'll listen? <laughs> It's just what? horrible writing. I mean, this villain is just so un, uh, just, just so unscary. Just I, I don't even I'll, know what I'll, else. I'll tell you it what I was scared obvious. of. It really should be obvious to people, but um, I, I, I don't know. Is anybody saying this is a good campaign? I mean, it, uh, the first time I played, I was so disappointed. Yeah, it was pretty boring. Like, I mean, it was just trying to like close the chapter on all the Cortana going crazy bullshit, which we had since like Halo Three. So, how many games was she going nuts for? Four. Like yeah, Jesus but I honestly, Christ. I don't like care for them replacing her with another Cortana. That's just I think the story just never ends. Yeah, and honestly, at that point you could have just fixed Cortana and we would could have had the same story. <laughs> um, you didn't really. Yeah, even have can we to can we that. get on with the finding more halos, please? You know, or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, hold on. I this is a this is a very specific gripe, but um, I think uh, the whole hexagon shit with the halos is absolutely retarded it doesn't make any sense and oh like how they're made and somebody explained yeah. to me how they're breaking perfectly uh without any cracks in the hexagons when the halos just like split apart like i don't i don't understand how that yeah where uh, did who, that come who, from who the who, what creative designer thought that was that made sense but uh they weren't there before and they're not there now also about the halo uh there's animals there from earth and they're just birds chirping and all this stuff and <laughs> It doesn't even make any sense. I mean, is this planet Earth or am I on a halo? 
It's like I don't. Yeah, know Yeah, there's where like I am. squirrels and shit running around and burrowing into the ground and, and running shit. into. What are they digging yeah. into? Those fucking metal hexagons? What's going on? There's a reason you barely saw any life on the first Halo, and it's because there wasn't any life. Because it's uh, <laughs> it's it's man made. It's or artificial. Not it's it's artificial. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes it feel so eerie and uh, and weird. And also, I'm not able. The edge of the ring, honestly, the ring should be bigger. The way the map is, they they actually the ring is way bigger. It just in comparison to Halo CE. Um, and the walls of the Halo should be there. There was walls on the edge of it. If you can see it in the distance, there should be a wall you come up against when you're reaching the edge, and this thing is just falls off. So um, that also is a design mistake. Yeah, it is right kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really adds to the to the eeriness when you don't ha- when there wasn't any, um, like in Halo CE, there wasn't any animals or any wildlife or anything. And like, I think you like hear birds maybe in the audio in the old game. I think there was but, birds or something. But you but it hear was them, but it's ne- you shit. never see it. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's very like, like, man, what is this? And it's like, I know we like know more as the story went on, but it's just like, I don't know, the way the new Halo looks, Zeta Halo or whatever you were on on Infinite, it's just. I don't know. It kind of looked a little strange to me. It's just everything's too nice, man. It was too bright. Birds chirping. You know, it's just like everything's so nice. Yeah, yeah it's just like shit. Let's just happy uh, go lucky. And honestly, <laughs> the happy go lucky thing was apparent in the entire campaign, so it makes sense. You know, Cortana, happy go lucky. You know, even the villain. I swear to God, is just. So it's what like, I was oh, going to say earlier. The whole earlier, thing was a joke. What I was going to say earlier. Yeah, it really was a joke. That, so I, I play pretty much every campaign on normal. Um, and uh, you know, I mean, it's like. I don't know, there should be some challenge, even on normal, I would think. But it's like, um, you know, the elite was worrisome to me in the beginning. That elite with the two swords or whatever. I was like, oh man, this is this looks cool. This guy looks like a real problem. This guy's coming after me, and it's like you finally get to duel him, and you, I, I whooped his ass in like a minute. I, I didn't even know he was dead. Actually, I killed him so fast. I was like, where'd he go? <laughs> I think he like died when he was like invisible or something. Uh, and um, I just thought that was kind of funny because you're thinking, man, this is really building up to something. And then you kick his ass, you steal his red sword, and then you go beat the shit out of that dumbass brute that was talking in your ear all game. Um, which I was glad to do because he annoyed the shit out of me. These villains were very cringy. The elite was- Super cringy, man. The dialogue was just like what like extraneous <laughs> the whole thing was dragging the whole thing like was very it dragged the whole time and i mean i could go into really specific details of how uh it's not like halo um the you know obviously the the, the movie style cinematic style of halo is not didn't feel like that at all and what else i was going to say is um the whole grappling hook thing is so stupid i just can't yeah, it's did. like I don't did know. I say this before? Did I say? I it think before? it's. I you know what? I think it works in this case because the map is so fucking big. Like you, like you kind of need a way to kind of, uh, you know, get around a little faster. So like it, it kind of oh, makes sense shit. here. Um, Just kidding. I don't know. I, to me, it makes sense <laughs> I here. I don't think it'd make sense in any other Halo because they made it an open map, but they didn't need to do that. I'm not. That wasn't the thing that my heart needed to be satisfied with was an open map in Halo. I, I was. I think Forge mode kind of just does that already. I don't really need. I mean, that could be a cool fo- Forge mode option, maybe. Just like I, I don't think massive, the fact that it was open world is the plate. problem for me. I, I just think the story just sucked. <laughs> you know, I just it just wasn't that interesting. Um, like I said, Chief doesn't really get into trouble. He just whoops everyone's ass. And um, I thought that was I thought shitty dialogue was like when he was. T- Remember when like the fucking his drivers like crying and spilling his life story about how he's a coward or something. I can't remember. Um, mm-hmm. Chief's like. He's like asking about like his fight with Escheron or Chief, just like or whatever the fucking brute's name is, or or, or Atriox, and he's Chief's like, yeah, he 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 beat my ass like decisively and like brutally. It's like he didn't, not really. He kind of just like threw you off a ship. Atriox beat me surgically, precisely, brutally. But he's just like telling us how bad he got Did his he ass say kicked. That? Yeah, and it was like really strange. I was like, wow, why would what? why would Chief like talk down on himself? Like, oh yeah, I got like my ass kicked. He basically does. If you if you rewatch that scene, and I just remember watching that part. I don't know. It's and just I, embarrassing. Yeah, uh, and I was I was like, in... they just did Chief so dirty. It's like, and who is this Atriox guy anyway? I think he was from. I'm sure he's in the book. Someone's gonna fucking say it. You know, some of the later books, whatever the fuck, I don't care. But he's from like Halo Wars. That Halo Wars. Those games, I think that's where that kind of story came from, with Atriox or yeah. something. And, and um, when 
Yeah, when the campaign first started, I had no idea what was going on. I was just like, what is going on here? Who is this brute who looks like an ape? Yeah, By the way, this... oh, these yeah. aren't brutes, guys. <laughs> Let's this, talk these are about apes. That. This is we're, this is Planet of the Apes Halo. <laughs> I mean, this is not <laughs> these do not look like brutes. I'm I'm sorry. The people clearly who made this had no idea what they were talking they were doing i mean yeah. clearly we just keep yeah if you out. go look at halo reach brutes or halo 2 brutes um they're not they don't have ape noses they have snouts uh <laughs> and um i don't know i just yeah they, they definitely look like they were uh not taken very seriously <laughs> there's like yeah let's just make them apes it's just easier for design mm -hmm. what were you gonna say you were gonna say something I uh, forgot. I might have interrupted. No, you. I mean, I think that was it. I, I think we were going to go. <laughs> we're going to touch on it. Oh, I, yeah, I've I never just, seen I anybody just, else say that. So, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I, know, I don't know why, but yeah, what else was bad about it? Um, There's so much. I mean, the funniest part is that like the the most fun I had in that campaign was being Spider Man, Spider Man Master Chief style, just like going around with the, not even style. It's not even Master Chief. Why the fuck did I say that? No, there's. Anyway, just being Spider-Man was like the most fun thing. <laughs> just going around, <laughs> yeah, swinging with that grapple. We figured we out how to, get... to go under the map, and we were just doing that. It's just, yeah, not... we're just having fun the doing other for like shit. hours. Like that was <laughs> once we beat the game, <laughs> all we were doing just fucking around down there. Yeah, um, couldn't do it split screen though. You know, had to wait yeah, for that. yeah, yeah. And and that's another. They don't realize how bad not having co-op was because, like, I think back to when we used to play uh the original campaigns and stuff and uh you know they always had co-op it's it's funny to me thinking this like like i when i think of halo and playing through the campaigns you know i always think about playing them with you and always i remember uh, having somebody else with me like it, i know it's just a, you know chiefs alone in the story but the way a lot of fans and people playing the games remember them is you know playing with somebody else like that like and so taking that out is much very detrimental like oh like because like i wanted to play with you remember we wanted to play together it's like oh we can't it's like okay well this kind of sucks and was that so was one of my gripes with halo 4 right because you couldn't you couldn't do co-op and that campaign was so boring holy fucking shit uh mm -hmm. killing all those fucking mechanical idiots by myself i mean just it's boring it would have been boring with two people but oh my god are you Holy talking about Halo shit. 4? Halo 4 was so boring. Yeah, the mechanical oh. stuff was so Yeah, just bad. I'm killing robots and stuff. That's not killing cool. robot dogs. I mean, what are these? Yeah, guys? there's yeah, these yeah, these uh, sophisticated beings, they have dog versions of themselves that they made. Yeah, these guys <laughs> created a Halo and I mean it's just does just yeah. seems really Yeah, in that ain't poor it. taste. Yeah. So you're you're going to say something about the grappling hook you thought was funny? I just think that the um I might have mentioned this before, but I mean get that shit off of his suit. That is not that does <laughs> that's a grab and go thing. Like I don't like the way that's just a permanent marker on his suit. That just to me that's just not a master chief thing to do. Yeah. Uh, is <laughs> yeah, to it's have like that a, little thing. On the cover is, of the game, it's like um part of his suit, I guess. And it's like I mean that's such a uh, it's, it's so gripe, embarrassing. But... Like I remember the trailer, the trailer before. I was so excited when the trailer for the for the I really thought they were gonna make like a seriously good campaign. And I like the little dynamic they were gonna throw in with this guy from, you know, do you call him Pelicans or whatever? I don't know what you call him, but uh that ship or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh I thought that was gonna be a really awesome dynamic, kind of just almost like reintroducing Master Chief to other fans that didn't know him. It was like such a good chance for them to do that. And then you see Master Chief coming down in space and you know, just like, oh my god. Honestly, the game should have just started like that. Um, maybe have Chief explain it, or I just don't like the beginning scene with Atriox. But uh the stupid grappling hook is now in the scene where he's falling in the sky, and it just looks retarded. Um, and they just had to throw that in there. I don't know, because I guess it's a part of him now. But I don't know. Horrible move on their part. Um, I don't really know who's in charge there. It's not. It's not who I want to be in charge. I don't know. Yeah, everybody over there. But no, like that's fired. Yeah, apparently <sighs> Joseph Staten is on the list of people, but um, I don't know. He's... I know. I just I don't think he has a lot of. He's he's a great guy. I just don't. I don't think he's got a lot of pull over there. I just. I don't know. When I see yeah, the old stuff, he, he doesn't right, have his you know, team, just... man. He needs his team. And yeah. uh, he doesn't have his team. I don't know. He's kind of a spokesperson for the brand or something. I don't know. Because he'll, he'll come out and he'll tweet like, oh, hey, uh, you know, this is what we're working on for, you know, the, the roadmap and stuff like that. And But I just, I don't really, I don't think he's doing any of the legwork. Um, yeah. And know. then there's a, there's this Halo channel. And then since I'm looking up Halo stuff, I get this Halo channel feed or whatever. And they're just like pointing to the, it's like a Halo Infinite thing. And they're just 
they're pointing to the show. I mean, I knew they were going to do this when they're combining the two and they're in cahoots. I mean, some people think that maybe they're not and it's not the same thing. It's like it, it is. Oh yeah, don't no worry. they they are adding elements of the uh they will be apparently. I don't know. We'll find it. But even the fact that they're promoting it just says yeah, says enough to me that about we the we said this in this. another video and it didn't the video didn't I think it only had like 482 views or something like that, but uh we we brought up the fact that you know you were saying you think um you know, he's going to come in with helmetless armor, Pablo. He's just going to have his oh, face. Be, it'd be hilarious. Dude, that'd be I the mean, funniest if people, thing. If people saw, dude. I mean, honestly, it's not that far-fetched. I mean, to have helmets off and shit. We start having helmets off. Just can't wait for that battle pass to come out. Halo TV show battle yeah, pass. Get to play as the, the Spartan 50 bucks for Pablo or whatever the fuck her name yeah. is. And, you know, have her helmet off, with, Pablo. You have to pay extra for the pink like, hair. That's an additive on her. If, I mean, is anybody going to enjoy seeing maskless people, you know, running around like idiots on Halo? I mean, oh, I think man. that's enough for even people that like, you know, anything Halo content-wise to be like, 